Hello, I am Hughes Afa and welcome to Technoport. In this series of machine learning we will discuss about mathematics and coding behind algorithms of machine learning. So machine learning is a sub-branch of AI, but meaning of machine learning is not making robots like Terminator, but learning some algorithm which makes our predictions better. According to Tom Mitchell. A computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some task T and some performance measure P, if its performance on task is measured performance improves with experience E. Seems like so confusing. Let's make it simple. Suppose you want from your machine to watch his emails and mark as spam or not spam, and based on that learning how to better filter spam. For this example, classify emails are spam or not as a task. Watching your labels email are spam or not spam as experience. The number of emails correctly classified as spam or not spam is a performance. Let's take another example. The computer program that learns to play checkers might improve its performance, as measured by its ability to win at the class of task, involves playing checkers game through experience obtained by playing against itself. For this example, what will be task performance and experience? Pause the video here and try to solve. Playing checkers is a task. Percentage of game won against opponent is a performance. Playing practice games against itself is experience. But what makes machine learning separate from traditional programming? In traditional programming we give data and program as an input and some calculation perform, then give output values. But in machine learning we give data and output as an input of computer and algorithm of machine learning, give an output program. For better understand let's take an example. Suppose you want to add two numbers in traditional programming for that purpose provide A and B. As an input also provide additional program to the computer, then computer will give you an output. But in machine learning you have to give a data set for input A and B. And also output values after addition, then your computer will give you an output addition program for new data. But you should not use machine learning for just addition program. Finally let's talk about domain and applications of machine learning. Firstly we will talk about computer vision. Machine learning highly using in the domain of computer vision. These are the applications of computer vision. Say what object appear in the image. Convert handwritten digits to characters. Detect where's object appear in the image. Animal identification. Gesture detection. And many more. We will do code for this problem in the future videos. So subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Another application domain is robot control. Designing autonomous mobile robot that learns to navigate from one from their own experience. Autonomous movement around the area for security purpose. Self-driving cars. And autonomous drones. And how can we forget NPL? The natural language processing. The ultimate object of NPL is to read, dispatcher, understand and make sense of human language. In the manner that is valuable most in NPL techniques rely on machine learning to drive meaning of human language like classifying the sentiment of a text, comment or article, is a challenging subjective task, even for a real human. Classify large chunks of texts. They can tell about an email, whether it is a spam or not. Translating languages with natural language processing help us reach more people. Natural language processing is used in text-to-speech synthesis. Summarizing text with the help of natural language processing. And many more. So many questions will be comes in your mind. How many types of machine learning? How the predictions work? What the maths behind it? How can we apply in computer program? I will describe each of these in the upcoming videos. So make sure you like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for upcoming videos.